Good morning, everyone. It's coffee time. And my life is beautiful cup. It's four something in the morning. I'm all ready for work. I won't leave here for a few minutes. So I was thinking about some scripture. And First Peter 5, 6 through 7 says this. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble, humble ourselves, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you and I. So what this is telling me, Stop worrying. There is somebody on my channel who watches me is carrying some burdens. But God wants you to lay them down at his feet. Stop worrying. He has you. Isaiah, what, 41.10? I always say this in my videos, this scripture he has you in his righteous right hand. Stop worrying. Worrying is only going to make you sick. Cast all your cares upon him like 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7 says. He has you. He don't want you to worry anymore. You're tormenting yourself. Life is a beautiful thing. But there is a heavenly father, our God, who loves us so much. He is willing to take our burdens and place them on him so we don't have to worry. He is would, willing to take our fears so we don't have to be fearful. He's willing to take everything that weighs us down and put them upon him because he is built solid and strong. He can handle whatever we're going through, whatever circumstances we're going through, he can handle it for us. He's our dad. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. I'm not going to do a long video. Stop worrying. Cast your cares upon, upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess his name. The demons will flee. The demons will leave you alone. Confess by mouth your name of Jesus Christ. Cast all your cares upon him. First Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 7. He wants to carry our burdens. He has us. So there is no reason why any of us should carry guilt around daily, burdens around daily, worries and fears around daily just say lord jesus i'm afraid of this please help leave it there have faith have faith knowing that he's going to straighten the situation out there is a situation you're going through right now every day we go through something but the key is we're going through it we're not going to stay there where whatever you may be going through at this very moment, whatever you've been going through, it's not going to stay the same. Nothing stays the same. So remember, you're going through it. There's sunshine at the end of the tunnel. There's rain after a dry desert place. He has you. He loves you so very much. I love you. I got to go. I got to get ready to get up out of here. Have a wonderful day. Pick up the Bible. Wipe the dust off it. This is your lifeline. This is your friend. There's biblical advice in here that can teach you how to live. There's somebody higher powered than you are that created you, that's willing to love on you, guide you, direct you, and lighten the load. You're going through something. But he will get you to the other side. I love you. Talk to you later.
拜。